Hey everyone, so it appears that your older Pokemon from all of your Pokemon games up through Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon, maybe even the Pokemon in uh, Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu and Let's Go Eevee, assuming that it has normal, typical Pokemon bank functionality, uh, will be able to be used in 2019's new generation of Pokemon. Uh, this was actually said by the Pokemon director, Junichi Masuda. Uh, to GameSpot. He has said this in an interview, uh, and he said, we're definitely always thinking of that kind of forward-moving functionality, especially since we've introduced Pokemon Bank. Now, up to Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon, you're able to store your Pokemon, and we know they're very important to everyone. I mean, obviously, people would be very sad if they couldn't use their Pokemon in a future game. So it does get complicated when you talk about the details, and we're still figuring it out. But we do have plans to find ways to let players use their Pokemon in the next game. Again, I don't think this is surprising because Pokemon Bank has been in use for so long. But obviously, there were some complexities here where, you know, obviously Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu, Let's Go Eevee doesn't let you bring in your Pokemon. Uh, at least not from the bank. You, you can bring them in from Pokemon Go, uh, but potentially still use the bank. And, and what, how's that functionality going to work with a new game? Obviously, we're also talking about Pokemon being on a brand new platform. This will be the first new generation of Pokemon games on a brand new platform platform that also happens to be a home console also a portable console hd probably you know potentially an entirely new engine being used uh it's going to be very interesting and i'm i'm actually looking forward to how they're going to make this work uh personally i don't really have any pokemon in pokemon bank i've never used pokemon bank i've never paid for pokemon bank so i'm not the best person to talk about the functionality and uses of bank but i do think it's generally a, a really good thing that you're going to be able to bring your older Pokemon in because it's just always been part of Pokemon. It's probably one of the one things like I, I've criticized Pokemon several times and, and had a lot of people tell me how fake of a fan I am and I, I'm not welcome in the Pokemon community or whatever the case may be, a Gen 1 or, or even though I don't think Gen 1 is the best gen anyways. But it, it it's always been interesting to me because when we talk about this, one of the aspects I will never criticize about Pokemon is the ability to transfer Pokemon from game to game. I think that's always been a unique aspect of this series that helps interconnect all the games together. It makes it feel like it's one cohesive world because you can transfer Pokemon between all of these different games. And obviously with Pokemon Bank, it just got easier to do that. It also got easier to get cloned Pokemon and hacked Pokemon passed around as well. And those are obviously some concerns people still have to this date and that's just something the pokemon company needs to do a better job combating against but that's that's neither here nor there reality is that this is good news and good signs for the new game in 2019 uh, letting you know it's not going to be a closed off generation right because there was always a fear that whatever happens with the new generation of pokemon games in 2019 that maybe it would be the start of, of a brand new thing like yeah it'll use pokemon bank but it'll be like this brand new reboot for the franchise kind of where it's not necessarily like rebooting you know the gen one pokemon but but starting a, a, a fresh and i feel like Let's go Pikachu, let's go Eevee's uh, basically doing that, but obviously the new generation of Pokemon is not going to be following suit. They've talked about how uh, if let's go Pikachu, let's go Eevee is successful, they might just have two branching mainline Pokemon games. You'll have the let's go line that might just be literally remakes in let's go style going up the line or or maybe uh, just you know different types of, of of games there and then you also will have the other line of games and whether or not you can transfer pokemon back and forth between those two different lines of games i don't know but i, I think this is really good news and i'm curious what your guys' thoughts on it i'm assuming that almost everyone that's played prior pokemon games is going to be pretty happy with this news obviously news on the new pokemon games in 2019 is few and far between uh they're not really going to talk about it much because they have you know the let's go series coming out here in a month and they want to focus on that and we're probably not going to hear much about pokemon 2019 till around summer next year when they finally get closer to e3 and and they really want to start pushing these games as like the big holiday title for switch but I am very, very happy about this. And what I actually want to ask you guys is what other uh, core features of the franchise do you want to see brought over to these games? Is there anything from the Let's Go games you maybe want to see adapted into this newer generation? Uh, you know, I, th I can think of one thing. Um, you know, I'm not going to touch upon capturing Pokemon. Too controversial there. 
But I think one thing that's really interesting is what if you could also see the Pokemon in the in the overworld in that game as well? So it's still, like, I don't know if you guys have paid attention to Let's Go Pichu, Let's Go Eevee uh, footage lately, but they're still kind of sort of random encounters. Uh, because while you could see Pokemon in the world, some of them are hidden. So you won't really see the Pokemon until you're almost right on top of it. Like there might be like a Nidoran in the grass and, and you might just be walking through the grass and all of a sudden right in front of you as you're walking, it just pops out of the grass like surprise. There was a Nidoran hidden in the grass. Um, and, and again, that kind of mimics the real world. Like the other day I was outside and I was, I was doing some yard work and all of a sudden I didn't even realize it. A bunny just scooted from right in front of me. Didn't see him. He was hidden. Uh, and I, I feel like that's maybe there. And plus it adds in that whole, uh, if you were just holding forward and thinking you were going to not have to run into Pokemon, all of a sudden you run into one. So I, I think it's, I think it's a very interesting concept they're doing with Let's Go Pikachu, Let's Go Eevee that could be an experiment for a core game. But that's just like one aspect that I would like to see brought over from Let's Go Pikachu, Let's Go Eevee. All right, maybe you don't want anything brought over from the games, and that's fine. Uh, but what do you want brought over from the core franchise? You know, the I don't want to say the core franchise because I, I've been arguing this whole time. Let's Go Pikachu, Let's Go Eevee is core. It's just a different type, like its own its own line. But I guess from the um, the, the baseline games. Let's, let, let's, let's, call, let's call everything through Ultra Sun, Ultra Moon, the baseline games. And then we'll call, because uh, I don't want to go with core and mainline because like that's just, it, it's too controversial. Let, let's just go with the, 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 the core line of games um, or the baseline of games. The, uh, I, I think what would be cool is, I, I'm not big into this, but I wonder if Z moves are going to be brought over. Uh, I know some people absolutely love Z moves. I'm not a, big proponent of z moves but i think it's an interesting enough mechanic that maybe uh if i end up falling in love with let's go pikachu let's go eevee i might be ready uh, to add some more complexities on top and maybe i'll find it really exciting uh and i think that's that's also an, an additional uh thing that people forget about let's go pikachu let's go eevee i i hate bringing them up in this topic but um it, it feels like it might be a really nice entry point to springboard people into the next generation of pokemon but um i i'm hoping it does that for me I, I want to fall in love with Pokemon, like like all everything surrounding Pokemon all over again. Um, maybe this is the pathway for me, even if it's not the pathway for you. All right, folks, uh, I think it's going to do it. Thank you so much for tuning in. I'm Nathaniel Ruffle Jance from Nintendo Prime. And before we sign out, I want to remind you guys we are giving away a Nintendo Switch Ultimate Bundle. Uh, there is a Gleam.io link down in the description to enter. It's absolutely free. You just have to be subscribed to the channel. And hey, if you are subscribed to the channel, why don't you go ahead and hit that bell icon? YouTube has been um, really, uh, I, I took a couple days off over the weekend to spend with my family. And YouTube decided to punish my channel this week um, and kill notifications. Hardly anyone's being notified of my videos, of my live streams. Uh, so go hit that bell icon uh, if you really want to make sure you're seeing all future content from me. All right, folks. Um, that's it. I'll catch you guys in the next one.